Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. Today we'll be unboxing a group of WADA certified video games, all freshly graded and back from WADA. Now there's 12 games in this mission we're going to be taking a look at today and there's some rare Atari in here. I think some GameCube, some Xbox, and some PlayStation 1. Now if you guys have been submitting games to WADA, or VGA for that matter, you know there's a huge backlog of submissions and the turnaround times have very long, months and months and months. I think some of these games we sent in about six or seven months ago. There's also a big production issue with parts and also a big supply chain disruption getting parts over to these companies. So the turnaround time is very long. So we told the guys just to ship us back groups of 12 as they come available. So we asked them what's in the submission so we can kind of have an idea of what we're showing you guys. We didn't get the titles. We just got the genres or the systems that the games are for. So we know there's some Atari in here, Xbox, uh, GameCube, and some PlayStation 1. Not 100% sure what titles are in here and definitely don't know the grades. So today will be the first time we see these games as well. So very interested in seeing what we got back. So let's go ahead and cut it in this box, share with you guys what we get back from WADA. All right, let's take a look. You know, let me tape down this uh, flap here so it's out of the way. All right, there we go. So there's 12 games in today's submission. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. Oh man, starting with one of the rarest. Take a look at this. This is Adventure for the Atari 2600. This is a 6.0 no seal. One of the rarest games for the Atari 2600. There's, you know, I don't think we've seen more than five or six of these come to market. Very, very tough game to get, especially in any grade above a five. Even a five in this game is worth adding to your collection. Very tough game to find, sealed, that is. There's a lot of these in cart only, or some of them complete box. We've seen only a few complete block box as well. This game is tough to find, sealed or complete box. But if you're able to get a sealed game like this, or these are no sealed, They're, they were never sealed in cellophane. But this is a 6.0, incredibly tough game to find. Like I said, when the pops actually do come out, you'll see just how few of these there are on the market. Very important game in the video game history and a great game to have in your collection. So we're super happy with getting a 6.0 in this. That's great, great game. You know, no price stickers on this. Ah, oh, this is great. That's a nice grade. I'm glad to get that out of this game. It's super tough to find. I think we've only picked up maybe two copies over the past five years. So glad to have that one. All right, another Atari 2600 here. Warlords for the Atari 2600. As you can see, this is a 9.4 NS, no seal. This is the 1981 brown box. You know, just like with the adventure, I think when the pops come out for all these Atari 2600 games, you're gonna see just how few of these there are on the market graded above a 9.0. I think in general, I think the pops on these games in any grade is gonna be pretty low. So this game here in 9.4, we're glad to have this one here. Tough to find nowadays. This is a game that you think would be a lot more common, but you know, we've probably only seen a couple of these in the past couple years. So tough game to find, tougher than you would think. Not really, un uh, not a really rare game. It's kind of common if you look at any of the rarity guides, but find one sealed, especially in high grade, it's tough in today's market. So happy with us 9.4. Okay. Oh man, now this here and here, Moon Patrol. Now this is a 9.0 A+. Now this here is the original version, the 1983. There was a 1987 silver box version. This is a 1983. This one here is super, super rare. Now this is hard to find this one anywhere on the market, either complete box or sealed. Sealed is near impossible. I think we've seen two of these in the past five years. This, is, this being one of them. 9.0, oh man. That is fantastic. As you can see here with this original version, the artwork is much larger. In the 1987 box version, the artwork is cut down. Big banner across here in red. This one here has the large artwork across here. Super tough to find this seal, so we're definitely happy about this. A 9.0. Anything a 9.0 or above in this original 1981 A283 versions, oh man, those are great to have in your collection, so we're super, super excited about that one. Moon Patrol. Game number four. All right, going with the super rare Atari here. We have Frogger and 9.4 uh, A+. 
Now this one here, as you can see, this one here does not have the red stripe. This is the first production run of this particular title. The second production run had the Arcade Classic, the red stripe across the bottom here. So this is the first production run in a 9.4 A+. Super good grade for this game. There are some in 9.6 and 9.8, but you know, this particular game, anything above a 9.4 is good to have in your collection. There's not going to be a lot of these, you know, even if there's like 20 in 9.8 or in 9.6. That's not a lot of games compared to some of these Nintendo games. Once the pops come out for those Nintendo games, I think a lot of people are going to be very surprised how many of some of those titles exist in high grade. Just because you don't see them in the market that often doesn't mean they're not out there graded in people's collections. This one here... I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of these in 9.4 or above. Can't be more than 50 in 9.4, 9.6, 9.8. So this one here, definitely a good game to have in your collection. Without the red stripe, first production run, this is the one you want to own if you are collecting the Atari. Oh man, getting some good grades so far. Getting some really good grades for the Atari. All right, keep it up. Keep it up with the rare Atari. Here we have Pac-Man. 7.0 A+. Now, what makes this game here so special and rarer than some of the other game, other Pac-Man titles you see on the market is that this here is an A plus seal. Now, most of these are going to be NS, no seals. This one here is actually sealed in cellophane. This is a V overlap scene. There's also a tube scene version of this, but an A plus seal is super tough to get in a Pac-Man, original Pac-Man game. Now, this is the 1981 orange box. Man. 7.0. We're happy with that. There's a big dent here in the box i think it's probably from the cellophane pulling on the box over time but it doesn't really matter like i said 7.0 a plus seal is going to be rare on the market there are high grade ns boxes out there we haven't really seen any high grade sealed boxes though so 7.0 we're definitely happy with that even has the original price sticker on here which is kind of cool you know we typically like no obstructions on the artwork but it's kind of cool sometimes to see the original price 24.99 you know a lot of money back in 1981 for a kid's video game. That's super cool. 7.0 A+. Love these old Atari games, if you haven't figured that out by now. All right, another Atari game. Okay. Here we have MASH. 7.0 No Seal. Now, this game here is super tough to find, especially with the free t-shirt sticker on the front. A lot of times this sticker is removed, and... Definitely affects the grade of the box. Knocks the grade down a little bit. And, you know, if you're collecting these for your own collection, you definitely want to get the free t-shirt sticker on here. A lot of these were bundled with t-shirts also. So if they're bundled with the t-shirt, you're typically going to have some damage to the box. A, a soft t-shirt underneath these, they were definitely they were shrink-wrapped over top of these. And so when people put them on the shelf, when retailers stock them and people pick them up, you know, that soft t-shirt did not provide a lot of protection and people handling them definitely damaged these boxes. So 7.0 is a good grade for this. Like I said, with the free t-shirt sticker, we don't see a lot of these on the market anyway. So 7.0 in this one here, super cool game. Happy with that grade. You don't see a lot of the mash boxes out there sealed. All right. I think we're almost out of Atari here. Here we have next atari millipede 9.4 a plus now this one here is a rather common title you, we think you probably find this in 9.6 and 9.8 for not much money there are sealed case packs out there of this you see them popping up in auction all the time so to get this one here in super high grade you should be able to do it relatively affordably we just sent this in because we had a sealed case pack of them and we picked out one of our best ones sent it in to see what kind of grade we get and we got a 9.4 out of it this one here, there's time on this if you're trying to pick these up for your collection. You know, this is 9.4, not the best grade for a game that's still in sealed case packs. We don't know what the next highest grade is. 9.4 could be the highest grade. You know, there's 9.6s, you know, it seems reasonable to assume there's 9.6s. 9.8s are almost impossible for any Atari, so we I don't think we've seen a 9.8, but 9.6s are probably out there. 9.4s definitely, there's definitely a lot of these. Pop's going to be high on this. Like I said, there are sealed case packs. If you're looking to add this one here to your collection, don't pay a lot for it. Like I said, we had a sealed case pack of this, and we may have a couple more sitting here. So, Millipede, not necessarily that uncommon of a game especially in sealed case packs nowadays but centipede the precursor to this super tough to find sealed so if you do see a centipede pick that one up millipede you can wait on this one there's gonna be some high grades come to market for affordable prices oh okay we're out of atari 
Now we're on to Xbox. Xbox Red Dead Revolver. Now this here is a 9.2A+. This here has the Microsoft Security Seal here. You know, this game here is getting tough to find in the secondary market. Everybody went after the Red Dead Redemption, the second iteration of this particular series. And so they went back to pick up the first one, the Red Dead Revolver. And this game is being absorbed. You know, a raw version of this game is going to cost you three, four, five hundred bucks in high grade. This is 9.2. I think we probably paid about $500 for this particular game before we sent it in for grading. But these are impossible to find in today's market. We, you know, we try to pick up copies whenever we can. But they're getting expensive, <laughs> ungraded. So we're glad to get this one here in a 9.2. Glad to pick it up when we did because, like I said, these are getting super tough to find. And this is the first iteration in this series. Super popular series. So highly collected and highly collectible. This is one to definitely have in your collection if you are collecting the Xbox title. And you always want to get the first, you know. In these series, you always want to pick up the first one in this series. Especially if it's a hot series. People love Red Dead Redemption. So they went after this one. One to own. Alright, here we have a GameCube. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a 9.2A. Now this one here is one that you do see on the market, you know, with some frequency. A 9.2 is still a good grade for this and an A seal rating. For some reason, the GameCube games do not get good seal ratings. So typically they're Bs. So to get an A seal rating on a GameCube game is a good seal rating. A 9.2 in addition to that. This is definitely a collector slash investment grade you don't want to go below a 9.2 if you're adding this to a an investment collection of games but 9.2 we're happy with that 9.4 would have been better but you know there are some of these on the market above a 9.2 and they shouldn't cost you a whole lot of money still but they are rising in price the gamecube games people are catching on that these are tough to get in high grade and tough to get good seal grades on so pick these up sooner rather than later if you do find them on the market 9.2 we're happy with that would have been happier with a 9.4, but like I said, still worth adding to your collection at the right price. Because there are some of these on the market, but, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Still super popular, people are collecting that title, so it's a good title to have in your collection. Oh, now we're moving on to PlayStation 1. Play PlayStation 1. The King of Fighters, 99. This is a 9.6A+. Now... Any of these PlayStation 1 games, we say this all the time, it's tough to get these games in uncracked jewel cases. These cases cracked heavily <laughs> over the years. You know, you're talking about a game here that's about 20 years old. This came out in 99, obviously. So this here is one. Well, I think it came out in 2001, actually. Um, this game here, it's been on the market for 20 years. The jewel cases do not last that long. They weren't meant to last that long. They're meant to be played, of course. So to find these sealed, and this here has the... Sony security seal across the top. To find these jewel cases uncracked, this day and age, like I said, after 20 years of being in people's houses, collections, being tossed around in boxes, you know, it's tough to get these uncracked. 9.6, super good grade. Any of these PlayStation games, 9.6, 9.8 are definitely the grades you want to add in your collection. 9.4, you know, once again, we don't know until the pops come out how high, what is the highest grade for each particular title. But we're thinking 9.6, definitely up there. We haven't seen any 9.8, so right now, we're happy with the 9.6 in this. 9.6 A+. King of Fighters. Alright, another PlayStation 1. Here we have Samurai Showdown. This is another 9.6 A++. You know, great, great seal grade on these. These jewel cases are not only notorious for cracking, they're also notorious for poking holes in the seals around the corners and getting scuff marks on the seals as well. So to get a high seal grade, like an A plus or an A plus plus on these, that's an incredible seal grade. And a 9.6, you're talking about, uh, once again, another game, when was this one? 2000, another 20, 21 year old game here that survived without being cracked. So any of these PlayStation 1 games, you know, we try to pick up all the PlayStation 1 games in 9.6 or 9.8 condition. You know, what we believe will be 9.6 or 9.8 that we see on the market. So, this one here, we're glad we picked this one up. Samurai Showdown, Warrior's Rage. Definitely a cool game, incredible grade. Glad that we see a 9.6 out of this. Now, we typically buy a lot of our games through online sales sites or 
emails, so we buy a lot of them through images. It's tough to find these high quality games or you know high grade games through an image. So we're definitely happy when we pick out a nice high grade game, send it in, and we do get a high grade. It doesn't always happen that way. And our last game for today, another PlayStation One Fear Effect, a 9.8A. Once again, A rating on these PlayStation One games is a super super good rating. They're notorious, especially these double double cases. They're notorious for getting holes punched in the corners here, scuffs across here, tears. So to get a double case like this also not cracked and to get a 9.8 on this, super good, super good grade. 9.8. Honestly, we didn't think it was going to grade that high. We thought this was definitely a 9.4, 9.6, but 9.8, we are not going to complain about that. Fear Effect, also super popular game to have in your collection. So a 9.8A, very happy with that grade. So there you have the 12 games that we had to show you guys today. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.